Hello, I'm Daniel. I am going to give a talk today on the 37 practices of a bodhisattva. A bodhisattva is just one of us who are trying to find our full potential, more awareness, mindfulness, compassion. And I've been going through these 37 verses one by one, and this one is called Bringing Prosperity Onto the Path. And I want to make very clear, you can listen to these in any order. It's a circle. You don't have to do them all. You don't have to do them in order. And this one is called Bringing Prosperity Onto the Path. And I'm going to read the verse, and then I'm going to talk about it. Bringing Prosperity Onto the Path. Though I may be eminently acclaimed, be revered by many beings, and possess a fortune resembling Vashravanas, it is the practice of the bodhisattvas to remain without arrogance, having seen how the glory and riches of his existence are pointless. So, arrogance and riches are pointless. So, first of all, that Vaishravana uh, just was a historical figure, just a well-known, incredibly wealthy being. It was not really even a person. It was some kind of spirit or something. But that that is neither here nor there. We could substitute and say Jeff Bezos or something, right? We're talking about incredible wealth. We're talking about how much pride we might take in our wealth. But we can take pride in a lot of things. And pride, what do we know about pride? It can be a problem, right? I think that's well known. Pride goes before a fall. That's a famous saying, right? And it can be a real problem for us. People are proud of a lot of things. And a lot of the time, people are proud of things they have no control over, like heritage or nationality. And that's weird. But this really makes me think think of the film Pulp Fiction. Uh, in it, the mob boss, played by Ving Rhames, says to the boxer, played by Bruce Willis, he says... Pride only hurts, it never helps. Actually, he says, fuck pride. Pride only hurts, it never helps. Because the boxer is very proud, and that's, he is, he causes problems for himself because he's very proud. And I think that he's right. Pride is a way of separating ourselves from other people. Putting ourselves on a pedestal above other people. I think, I always say, I think that we misjudge ourselves. We always tend to go extreme. We either think that we're much better than other people or we're much worse than other people. But we rarely think we're in the middle and we rarely see ourselves clearly. We're usually on one of those extremes. And so we're talking about pride when we put ourselves on a pedestal above others. And all the things we're proud of are fundamentally impermanent, just like everything else. I can be really proud of something I've accomplished even, like getting a promotion at work, applying for a promotion and getting one, but in the end, the results aren't going to last, right? I'm going to have that promotion for a while and not forever. And it could be easy to look down on others that didn't get the promotion I got. The promotion I'm proud of. And at the other end of the spectrum is pride for things I have no control over at all. I can be proud of my nationality, but I didn't choose that. It's weird people act like they chose that with the way with the way they're proud of it. They act like it was a choice they made and it wasn't. We were just born at this time in this place, right? I mean, some people do, I mean, did choose, you know, choose to travel to a new place and get citizenship or whatever. <coughs> but not me, not most of us. So, someone who, who immigrated to the United States and went through the process to become a citizen and they're proud of being an American, well, that's something different than what I've done, which is nothing, right? Nothing. I just has had parents who lived here and was born here. We don't think of that. 
we don't think of our good fortune very much. We don't think of it as good fortune. We don't think, I'm thankful I was born in this time and place in history where, you know, we have a lot of good things that other people don't have. But we should be thankful for what is just the cosmic accident, what is just what happened to you, right? I was born here instead of in a poor desert country or something, right? And I was born now instead of before there was running water, right? And I could could be thankful for that, but actually I never think about it. I never think about it. So the point is pride can be a weakness. It can be a very powerful weakness. It's Separate us, separates us from other people. It makes us think we're better than other people. Sometimes we have pride. Sometimes we have fake pride because we have self-esteem problems. And we think, what if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not special enough? What if I'm not unique enough? Why do those? Why are those people better than me? I need to find something to be my thing. And then become very pr- proud and very maybe negative toward other things, other people. But that's just because we're chasing something to hold on to. And the truth is, there's nothing to hold on to. There's nothing to hold on to. And if we realize that, we're going to have a greater sense of well-being. Much greater. So, um, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just, let's see if we can be a little bit less pulled around by pride. Pride is a weakness. That's not to say that I shouldn't be glad when I do a good job at something, but I think we need to just reflect. When we accomplish something, reflect and think, is this the right amount of pride? Am I overdoing this? Am I being proud as a way to separate myself from others? Why am I having this feeling why am I embodying this I think that's part of what we're doing is just having a space cultivating a space where we just think why is this my reaction why this why now and I think it helps us to reflect in that way so that's what I wanted to say for today thank you for taking the time to listen to this talk have a good day